Now, this tip is going to mean a world of difference in your kettlebell training. It's guaranteed. And you're not going to find this anywhere else. I guarantee that too. In these details, you're just not going to find it, especially not for free. Hand insertion, 45 degree angle of the handle. What does all this mean and how do you do it? It is super important to get that hand insertion and to get that 45 degree angle because it helps with having to fight against a broken wrist grip. So if you don't have that 45 degree angle of the handle in your hand and you don't have a good hand insertion, then you're fighting against that weight with your wrist. You're introducing another joint to this exercise or to the racking. So to achieve that 45 degree angle isn't always clear. You might know what you need to achieve, but it might not be clear how to achieve it. Let's break it down. A clean is always leg powered, lower body. It's pulling the weight up. An accelerated pull. Accelerated means you don't go slow at the same pace. No, slow, faster, 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 fastest. That's an accelerated pull. It keeps accelerating as fast as possible. So you start slow, fast, 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 and fast, the fastest. And then the kettlebell enters its ballistic flight. That is your objective, to pull that weight up with your legs and make it enter its ballistic flight, which means that it will keep moving. It's got enough power to keep moving without you having to power it anymore. So if I am here and I pull that kettlebell up and I would let go, it would come to here or here or here, depending on how hard that pull was, how much power I generated for that pull. That pull is super important because what you want to do is generate enough power so that that bell keeps going up, but not too high. This takes time to feel how much power you need to generate for what weight. It's also good to use a heavy weight because if you do this with a light weight, you're just not using your legs. So for any clean, especially when you're learning, you need to have a bit of weight behind it. So you're powering that pull and it goes into a ballistic flight. That weight keeps going, then you let go and you guide it. So from here it's a pull, then there is the ballistic flight. You guide the weight during that phase and then you catch it, your hand insert. Usually we say punch in. That's not like a violent long punch, it's just a short movement to get that hand in the window and here's the most important thing, to get that corner or handle on the webbing of your hand between your index and your thumb. If you punch that up, that's when you get that 45 degree angle. So let me break it down with a kettlebell. I'm gonna do this in slow motion. So I've got a dead weight, I'm pulling it up. Now that weight keeps going, 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 going. I'm guiding it, guiding it. And as I'm guiding it, I am rotating it. Then here I punch in. And what that does is bring this part of the kettlebell up. So let's say it's here. Here, here, here. Now I punch in, this part of the kettlebell will come up and this part will come down because this is where I punched the hand in. So that's where the hand was inserted. Now I'm in the corner, I'm slightly against the horn as well. This is the part that will give you that 45 degree angle. If you don't punch in, you will not get that 45 degree angle. Then you end up here, 
and then you have to adjust which is something you should do if you get it wrong no problem you use your other hand and get it right if you keep working like this then you're not going to be bothered and you're just going to keep doing it like this so you need to adjust and say this is what i need i'm going to adjust and now i'm going to press or now i'm going to do my next exercise adjust now if you've noticed everything we just did here it all builds on from the assisted dead clean this is why we put so much emphasis on that drill one more time I'm gonna pull that weight up in slow motion that was a powerful pull with the legs my arm was extended that weight enters its ballistic flight keeps going keeps going I guide it then I punch in now that punch in it might happen here it might happen here it depends on how high you pulled that kettlebell so don't get stuck on hey but the punch in happens here it depends a perfect height would be around here that would be a perfect height to do that and catch that weight so one more time right here if I don't punch in then you'll probably get this and the kettlebell comes over you don't want that because you end up with a broken wrist grip so when that weight is here punch in you're also catching the weight so if that weight is high and you're not punching in then it will come down and bang high bang high punch in catch I control the weight I punched in caught the weight and then I landed and brought it into racking position so you stay in control you control everything control from dead into racking now all this applies to a hand clean a dead clean a swing clean any variation of the swing it applies to any type of clean that you do and you end up into racking which is what a clean is bringing a bell from a lower position into racking position the same thing the same concept of what i just explained for the clean applies to snatching as well this is why we build up first assisted dead clean then swinging and then swing cleans hang cleans dead cleans and then we work on snatches not before that this is just the tip of the iceberg there is so much more this is the tip and there is so much more underneath on our website this is just one little part of the clean the clean is complex and there's a whole lot more to it now check out master kettlebell grips check out master kettlebell racking and then continue on from there those courses that i just mentioned those alone will take you to a whole new level they will help you stay more injury free if not completely injury free it depends on how much time you invest in it and how you progress they will allow you to train efficiently and lay a good solid foundation to build the rest of your kettlebell training upon 